Hi, I'm Amber and I'm the dance development artist for Company Chameleon, who are a dance company based in Manchester. Hello to anyone who has joined us for any of our past sessions and welcome to any new people who are joining us. It's going to be lots of fun. So in today's session, we are going to be exploring outer space. So we are going to become astronauts today. So before we get going, you just need to make sure that you've got something comfortable to dance in and anything you might trip over or bang into has been moved out the way and you've got a nice clear space. Okay, let's do it. Before we go on our space adventure, we need to go and get into our rocket ship, get on our space outfit and get ready to go. Let's go. Let's step in and sit down. Let's make sure we've got our seatbelt on. Ready to go. Let's put on our space gloves.
Okay, astronauts, now we are in space and isn't it amazing? So what we are going to do is we're going to walk around the moon doing our space walks with our big moon boots on. But then if I say shooting star, we're going to close our hands really small and go and shoot our hands like a star, like a big shooting star in the sky. Should we do it together? So we put our hands together and then I go shooting star. Amazing. So I could say that at any time when we're walking. Also, if I say the word planet, we are going to do a turn like this. You might want to do it with your arms open like I did. You might want to tuck and do a turn, or you might want to do a turn on the floor, rolling over your bottom. That is completely up to you which turn you do, and maybe you could have a go at lots of different turns. So that's when I say the word planet. So if I say shooting star, we're going to go And if I say planet, we're going to turn. Brilliant. And the last thing that we're going to do is if I say black hole, we are going to imagine that we're being sucked into a black hole. It's like a force that's pulling us in and we might not escape. So we're going to imagine that we're being pulled in. It might take our legs. It might take our head, it might take our arms. We don't know what's gonna happen if we end up in there, so we don't want that to happen. So you need to try and resist. So that's if I say black hole. So let's do one quick recap. So we're walking around in our moon boots, shooting star, and then we carry on. And if I say planet, we turn, and then we carry on. And if I say, black hole! Imagine it that we're getting sucked in. And then we'll carry on as if nothing ever happened. I'm gonna put on some music and we're gonna do these moves. Let's do it. Nice area in your home. 
So we're going to start with our legs in a nice wide position. This is called second position. So our legs are nice and wide and our knees are pointing forward and our toes should be pointing forward as well. First thing we're going to do is put on our astronaut's helmet because if we don't have that on, we can't breathe. So we're going to grab it, we're going to bend and we're going to pop it on our head. Fantastic, let's do that with me. So we grab the helmet, we go down, we pop it on our heads. Now we are going to crouch down in our rocket ship and then when I go three, two, one, we're going to pew and land on the moon. Let's go from the beginning together. So we put on our space helmet, we duck in, we go three, two, one, and pew. And we've arrived. And see what you can see. Then we're going to go on four space walks. So our slow motion spacewalks because we're really light but then we're going to do four space runs so we go one two three four almost trying to hover in the air so let's rewind we've put on our space helmet we've crouched down in our rocket ship and we've pinged out into space we go on one walk two walk Three, walk, four, walk. We go run, 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 and we jump and see what we can see. You might be able to see stars or you might be able to see the earth in the distance. So that last little bit, after we've done our runs, we do one step and we jump both our feet together in the air. And then look what we can see. Excellent. From the beginning, space helmet at the ready. Let's go, putting it on our heads. Ducking in, three, two, one. We've arrived, let's go. One, two, three, four. We go, one, two, three, four. Step and jump. And look what you can see. Amazing. Okay, now we're going to do two shooting stars. So we're going to gather our star up and we're going to go shooting star. So I'm going to throw my arms out forwards and throw my leg backwards. Let's do it together. So we gather it up and we throw. We gather it up and we throw. But then we need to duck in case these shooting stars hit us. So we go duck and duck. Great, let's go back to the shooting stars. So we've just jumped, feet are together, and we've had a look what we can see. We gather our shooting star and we throw it and in. We throw it and in, but then we duck and we duck. Fantastic. From here, there's a huge black hole in that corner. So we're going to imagine that we're being pulled. You might want to lead with your arms, you might want to lead with your head, you might want to lead with your foot. Or if you've got a slidey floor like me, don't do this if you've got carpet, but you might want to lie down and kick your legs towards the black hole, trying not to get sucked in. Shall we try from the shooting stars together into the black hole? Great. So we've just jumped, feet are together, and we've looked around. We gather our star, and we throw, and gather, we throw, and gather, we duck, we duck. And we get sucked in, well, all this way. Oh. But then we managed to escape the black hole. So we're going to do a roll on our bottom and we're going to face the back. So we should 
be like this. So you should have your back to me and your feet should be facing this way. So let's pretend that we've just finished our black hole. We face the back and then we step up. Let's do that one more time. So the black hole has sucked us in, but then we escape. We stand up, face the front, and the last thing that we're going to do is put our flag into the moon. So you might want to do this with a stamp, you might want to do this with a jump, you might want to do it with a turn. Up to you. Have a little play with which jump you would like to do, which, which flag you would like to do. I'm going to go for the jump. So I'm going to go. Brilliant. And that is the end of our dance. So I think we should go right back to the beginning. We start with our legs in our second position and we're going to put on our astronaut helmet. We go down, pop it on. We get in our rocket ship and we launch and we've arrived. So we can go on our walk. Two, three, four, two, run, 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 step and jump. We look and we shooting star. Shooting star and duck and duck. We get pulled in the black hole. Three, two, one, but we escape. And we do our flag. Amazing. If you would like to practice that again before we do the music, then just rewind the video. But now I think we're ready to do some music. Let's do it. going to do is make up our very own alien solo. So this is just going to be a short piece of movement that's all of our own choreography. So you are going to come up with the moves. But what I would like you to do first is think about the way that your alien might look. So my alien, I've decided, is very wacky. So my alien has really long antennas and it has flashing eyes at the top. My alien also has a big hole in its stomach. It has one leg and it can like wobble all the way to the floor. So you now need to think what your alien might look like and then once you've done that I would like you to think of a move for all the different ways that your alien looks. So, I will show you my example. So my alien, as I said, has antennas. So I am going to do a nice big lunge like this and show my antennas. My alien also has a big hole in its belly. So I'm gonna go like this to show the hole in its belly. It has one leg, so I'm gonna do a turn Woo! To show my one leg, and then to show the wibbly wobbliness of my alien, I'm gonna go. 
and land on the floor. So you now need to think of what your alien might look like. And then all you have to do is link together those moves and you've got an alien solo. So now just pause this video and go away and think about what your alien might look like and think of those moves and have a little practice of what it might look like. And then when you press play again, you're going to do it with me with the music. Good luck. working so hard in today's session. I'm sure you were amazing being an astronaut. Before next week's session, there is plenty of other things that you can get involved with. We still have our ongoing Challenge Tuesdays where we will share a challenge on one of our social channels asking you to do a creative response. And also our Theatre Thursdays are still happening and we are posting one of our amazing works online for you to see. I'd like to say a big thank you to the amazing musicians that allowed us to use their music today. We really, really appreciate it. And if you like their tracks, they've been referenced throughout the video. So please do go and look them up and see what else they've got out there. But that's everything from me today. And I really look forward to working with you next week. Bye.